Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. All right, Virgo, we're going to take a look and see what the messages are for you for this weekend. And my goodness, we're going to look at July. Hold on, you guys. I am just like out of my brain today. Um, so July 14th through the 17th. Okay, July 14th through the 17th weekend love reading for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. And please be mindful that these are general love messages. So take what fits, leave the rest. Don't try to fit it. Okay, if it doesn't fit, we must acquit. So let's get into this reading. What are the love messages here for the weekend? What does Virgo need to know? What predictions, what energy might be showing up for Virgo? Or this weekend coming up okay Virgo Sun Moon rising or Venus oh hold on somebody's going um well going to a beach or paradise or a resort over this weekend or might get an invitation to um go somewhere by the water this weekend I'm hearing this okay or is inviting someone to go by, go spend some time by the water. Okay. All right. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabling and boundaries. There's girl talk. Ooh, and ascending. Okay. So girl talk, guy talk, whichever, friends. Uh, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, so there's definitely something going on here over the weekend where somebody's getting together with friends and um, going to have a long conversation about that toxic relationship or that paradigm, maybe some psychological conversations or learning. Um, talking with friends about you know what you may have gone through in your life or your experiences or maybe there's somebody who is showing up uh, over this weekend who might be talking to you about that or asking some questions or you know uh, a little bit of healing so that's I feel like that's what that water energy was showing up because water is healing water soothes it refreshes um, it brings life. Um, so there's something here about a healing weekend for some of you. Transcending, uh, learning some things, expanding your your outlook, your, your belief system. Okay, a new phase coming in, preparing for union. All right. Um, so let me take a look and see what other messages there are here. Now, some of you, I will say, okay, they just gave me... No, they're saying, no, it's just the empath and narcissist paradigm. This, hmm. Oh, gosh, I just heard somebody caught a virus. Somebody caught an, the uh, some type of a virus. So, you know, the narcissist paradigm with the empath is kind of the same as saying, you know, um, uh, they're giving me trauma bonded. Somebody's talking about being trauma bonded. Or there's a conversation that comes up, okay? And needing to like enable boundaries, not enable the other person to keep on causing trauma, okay? Uh, so this feels like with friends this weekend. This feels like a very strong message of spending some time with friends and having some conversations and being single, being happily single, living in the moment, living your best life and having some fun as well. And I feel like if you have an invitation or you create an invitation to go somewhere with friends, whether it's by water, I don't care if it's a pool, I don't care if it's a bucket of water in your backyard, whatever you do, um, I feel like there's going to be this like releasing energy happening for you, um, learning and, and like preparing for some type of a union. You could be um, maybe creating a party or having a party or some kind of an event. Wow. Okay. So the Ace of Wands is here. So there's definitely a new opportunity coming in. Actually, you guys, I'm going to use this new deck that I got. Um, <clears throat> I got this deck. 
um, because I'm going to start doing a tarot reading course and um, I want to um, offer this deck to those of you. I'll, I'll be let you, letting you know um, soon about what I'm going to do, but I, I might as well just use the deck and show you um, for those who want to learn tarot. Okay, so let me get back to it. So you understand when you see when you see the deck, you're going to understand why I, why I'm why I'm doing this. Okay, so there's a new start. There's absolutely like a new potential for growth happening here over this weekend. And okay, Queen of Wands. So why I'm using this deck is because it has all of the information, descriptions and things like that. And I'll be putting a link to this deck in the tarot course. So the Queen of Wands here. So I'll just give you the messages. Um, there's someone here uh, and it feels like it's probably you taking on this Queen of Wands energy where you're being independent, confident, and getting some optimism back. You know, there's like I said, there's transcending some obstacles, learning You've got a new phase happening here in your life and it may not just be preparing for union with other people but preparing for union with self coming back to self okay so let me see for some of you could be in the mountains you could be like using a walking stick or if you're going somewhere in the mountains okay queen of pentacles just popped up so this is definitely an energy of leo virgo so if you're on the cusp of leo virgo or you have um you know high uh, fire earth in your chart okay this is like being also very mature but also being very grounded and this is two friends as well coming together so there might be like two um you and a friend connecting over this weekend okay could be um male female energy and for some of you this could be um you know, whether it's same sex, opposite sex, whatever the genders, you know, I hope you don't mind. There's like a, the lawn person coming by. <laughs> Maybe somebody's like a landscaper um, or is mowing their lawn or, you know, working on a lawn or just finished working on the lawn. So there's also, um, I'm just picking up out all of a sudden some fun, sexy times. Okay. So you have the page of swords. Hmm. Okay, there's an, en an element of inspiration happening here. Um, so this girl talk or the guy talk or whatever it is, this feels like um, there's going to be some opposition and conversation, but it's going to produce growth, okay? Because I feel like there's going to be some opposing views, okay? Maybe some arguments, Um Somebody might be overprotective this, of themselves or a bit guarded and things might get said to each other. There's some type of conversation. Could be some truth telling that comes up. One person tells another person some truth. Maybe you're saying it to somebody or they say it to you. Um, and it's, it's kind of harsh to hear, but it's like a wake up call kind of truth. Okay. You might be saying it to another person or somebody's, you know, saying something to you, but this truth will produce growth. Okay, so we also have the King of Cups here. So there could be like some conversation about somebody being involved with someone else as well as far as love goes. Um, hmm. So there could be a King of Cups, male or female energy who's sitting in this position of... Um, well, it doesn't necessarily feel negative, but this person comes across as... Um, you know, very supportive kind of a person, um, but it has a lot of recognition and applause around them. Okay. For some of you, there is somebody who's going to tell you some truth that's going to cause a bit of, uh, I want to say, this is like delayed. I feel like some of you are going to get a phone call or a text or some conversation. Somebody says, I have something to tell you. Um, I can't tell you right now, but it's, it's something I have to tell you something or some things that are being said or some things that are being found out or that are being told about either a fire sign, an earth sign or a water sign. Okay. Um, mm, interesting. Very interesting. Um, one thing I feel like there's an advice here for you, Virgo, is don't get drawn into any kind of an argument or drama. Okay. Oh, now you have the King of Wands. 
my goodness there's a lot of court card energy here there's two kings and two queens okay all right so we're gonna split this up this is how I'm gonna do this reading so bear with me it might be a little bit confusing um, there's two queens okay or there's two people here two friends getting together and having a conversation okay this might be the girl talk this is the guy talk um, and I feel like this conversation that you have with another person over this weekend is going to induce a whole heck of a lot of growth and change okay it could be with another earth sign it could be with an, a fire sign okay there we go possibly Leo because strength is here this is about courage inner strength bravery have the courage somebody's telling you have the courage to step out on your own and have that growth and create and 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 begin again okay you're having that conversation or they're having it with you okay this is this is somebody who I feel like is coming in um, they're very confident and they have a lot of confidence in you that you can overcome whatever you're struggling with okay and I see you maybe you're struggling to get your self-confidence back um, overcome some self-doubt maybe you were involved with you know in a narcissistic relationship maybe you were empathic and you um, were in a position of loving someone that was causing trauma or problems okay and this feels like a very good friend that you're having that you know the conversation is happening with now as far as this king of cups okay so we're splitting the reading up so I feel like there's several messages that are coming up here um, there's a stalking energy with this king of cups okay um, mm, let's see this person is very guarded um, they're not saying anything but there's a watching okay um, Hmm. they're planning something okay this person's planning something they're not trying to get into any argument or say anything to you um, but I feel like there will be some type of message that comes in from this person uh, it's fair but let me see what's going on here um, this king of cups is coming in male or female energy water energy is coming in very curious about something um hmm i'm hearing did you see me have you seen me spirit's giving me this this message that this king of cups is saying have you seen me um do you know me do you know who i am hmm that's weird let's see maybe they have some fame or celebrity on their side okay um Hmm. and then I'm also hearing I've seen you oh, okay is this somebody that you know or somebody that you could be connecting with over the weekend let me see here these are just weird messages they're so random okay this person works in a position um, of either celebrity or fame or they have fans or well-wishers supporters crowds this person's looking to see if you know who they are I don't even they're looking to see or they want to know if you know who they are or they have some news for you um, are they they're gonna commit come in and communicate or tell you something about who they are or but they're being very cautious or careful about that which is interesting maybe this might be somebody new that you connect with over this weekend who has an element of fame to them um, that they that this is like their employment or their job and uh, I feel like either they're going to share their acclaim or their some type of awards or their triumphs with you or tell you about some awards or triumphs or their status. Okay. And, you know, there's an opportunity. Okay. They're going to... Um, I don't know if you know them or you know they don't have to be like a super worldly famous it could just be someone like in your town who has this energy um, they're also going to tell you about a new business or money opportunity or job that they um, either are going to be receiving or they have received okay um, pretty big 
pretty big, um, there's a lot of prosperity here with this person, all right? Um, <laughs> so if they're not like famous, like you might meet this person, they may not, or they might not be and they might just tell you that they are um, or that they're going to be. Um, either way, they would just be someone who's in a position of like having advantage to um, be recognized or well known and having these financial opportunities or investments or prosperity, um, something that's being they're manifesting in their life. I feel like they're, this person, though, even though they're in this position, if you look, this page of swords is looking back over here. So somehow I feel like this person might know who you are or might know you. And um, I'm just feeling like a stalking energy. Okay, we're going to leave that there. So let's take a look. What is this energy for this King of Wands? Okay, maybe you do know this person and you are, uh, maybe you were involved with this person, whether it's romantic or acquaintance or friendship or something. And um, this was a very unhealthy connection with this person. It could have been a boss or... Uh, did I say a work colleague? Um, there's something going on with the girl with the snake, guy with the snake. Somebody's got a snake. Somebody's um, charming. Um, and there's a conversation you're having about this person. Maybe a relationship or a friendship or something about this person. And somebody else here is trying to give you some courage to start over in your life. Okay, let's look at this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here for the weekend? King of Wands is showing up here. Come on, you guys. I'm trying to get like a really good shuffle. Okay. Ooh, the tower. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is this? Sudden upheaval, trauma, unexpected change, disaster, confusion, maybe divorce. Hmm, okay. Is this separate from all of this? Or is that, I don't know if this is all separate messages, if they're attached. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. The Six of Cups. Oh, okay. They're just saying there's a King of Wands showing up here in your life um, in any type of relationship over the weekend. Who's telling you to destroy, get rid of your past? It looks like you're, for Virgo, it looks like you are trying to ascend and get out of something that's very toxic. Some kind of connection or relationship or friendship or family relationship or something that's very toxic. And you have these people who are surrounding you who are supporting you. And then there's somebody over here. Maybe that's the person that you're trying to pull yourself away from. Um, maybe not. Okay. Um, this could just be somebody, I don't know the significance just yet of why this person is showing up here, but it seems like the people that are surrounding you this weekend are trying to give you like, you know, hold you up or, or give, or like telling you, you know, you know, just don't, don't have a reunion with somebody. Um, keep it simple you know, leave the past in the past. Don't let the past influences dictate your future. Um, the negative past influences. Okay. I feel like this King of Wands is coming in here um, to tell you that this past stuff is what's causing confusion and pain in your life. If there was abuse or something along those lines. Let me see. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, look, the world. This this King of Wands, um, you've got a, a friend here supporting you, but you've got this King of Wands also saying to you, you know, the lesson has been learned. Um, get yourself whole again. Um, it, this, this situation is complete. You've, you've succeeded. You're out. You're doing what you need to do for yourself. You are accomplished. You know, leave the past in the, pa the past. Let go of some past negativity or bad stuff. And, um, you know, out with the old, in with the new kind of energy here. 
Now, the only thing that makes me feel like this King of Cups showing up here in the that that it's negative is this Page of Swords. Okay, um, because I feel like this King of Cups has it in them to argue or say something nasty, you know. Um, but they're holding their tongue. They're not saying anything. They're watching, but they're not saying anything. And why? Let's see. Why is this person? Now, like when I say the King of Cups, this person is showing up. doesn't matter what sign they are, but they are showing up. Um, mostly as in the male form. Calm, caring, friendly, sympathetic, tolerant, affectionate, romantic, charming. Okay, and the girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, it might be that person. So King showing up in that watery element could be any sign though, okay? Now, let me see, why is this person... Okay, hmm. Oh, okay, they're just saying this person doesn't want to say anything to you. Um, they're watching and not talking because they see you thriving there might be jealousy they might be jealousy and if they tell you um my goodness this person they f it feels like competition they want to be the winner they want you to see them as being better than you see yourself but they're watching but why are they holding Holding back, yeah, okay. Things coming to fruition. Oh, okay. The moon. Hmm. Well, it's weird. It's like they don't want to lie to you. They're trying to think of a way to say something to you without it coming off as being boastful. Um, it's very calculating energy, okay? I feel like rather than come off being boastful, I feel like this person wants to tell you that they're um, they're cultivating their goals and their dreams. But it feels like underneath this person, they're coming off as very kind and caring. But it, it's really jealousy. It, it's really, they're like competitive. There's something very unhealthy about that connection there, I feel. Like when this person, at, like if they were to, uh, they're watching to see what you're doing in your life and... Um, so that when they do talk to you, like, for example, if you bought um, a $5 million home and they live in the backseat of their car, they're watching to see your home. And then rather than reach out to you and uh, you, well, they will like reach out to you and congratulate you on your success and your win. But then they'll either give you a backhanded compliment or they'll say to you, um, that's that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, and by the way, I just received X amount of dollars and I'm, I'm going to be doing this. So they, there's a one-upmanship and that's what that, that's what that Six of Wands energy makes me feel like. Okay, success, victory, you know. Um, there's a jealousy. Somebody's like extremely jealous of you. And I feel like it um, doesn't matter what you do, Virgo. Uh, this person, there's like a competitive energy here. Okay. This King of Wands, male or female energy here. Um, this person secretly loves you or has like an in love energy for you. There's compatibility. They see you as a potential soulmate here. Someone could be in like, um, uh, like a long-term relationship. I feel like this person, you know, I don't feel like there's any malice or anything like that. Okay. Um, oh, they just brought me back to this moon. Yeah. So what I was saying about this, this other person over here, who's jealous of you, um, this person is very insecure. They just wanted me to say that there's just a lot of insecurity, vagueness with this person, deception, um, that kind of thing. But this, so it feels like, Virgo, it feels like you're kind of like, you're just trying to ascend in your life. You're just trying to move on. And you've got somebody here, this uh, King of Wands energy, male or female, whether you're with them or not, or it's new, um, because the you had the two of cups yesterday, which is an energy of soulmate energy here. Um, 
this person just knows there's something that they they haven't they ha they won't be revealing it just yet the depths of their feelings or you know having some type of conversation with you but they have very positive good vibes and feelings about you okay um, they're very confident about how they feel in, in regard to you and I feel like this person you know is trying to say to you over this weekend let go of the past be done with it just destroy it move on um, and it's mostly because this person has feelings with you, for you, but also because they, they're a friend. And I, I guess they care about you, or they will. Maybe you already know them, or you form a friendship with this person. Yeah, these are interesting messages. Yeah, they're going to tell you um, as far as like letting go of someone that is no good for you. Um, that that person probably has lots of other options. They pick and choose, you know, um, they always have so much on their plate. They procrastinate. They live in fantasy world. Um, they have wishful thinking. They hallucinate. They dream, probably fantasy, fantasize about you, but never really make anything, make their wishes come true. This is crazy energy for this weekend. Let me take a look at you and this, this um, friend, because I feel like this friend is trying to give you some moral support and help you to get focus they're trying to influence you to get stronger to get your gains um you know yeah here you go the chariot oh sorry so they're trying to um help you to overcome your obstacles whatever obstacles you might have going on in your in your life this person's like a really good supportive friend it could be a parent it could be a um a sibling you know, um, it feels like, and I, I can't, like, it's both two male, two female energy, but, you know, it, it's your very close friend. That's all I could say, but they're coming in with this very confident, you know, like, um, they're, they're, they're sure, they have a, sh they're sure that you will be able to um, overcome something. Okay, let me just see one more. Yeah, just take it slow. Your blessings are coming right? I feel like this person is going to tell you that, you know, just be persistent with what you're trying to do. Okay. Finish what you started, whatever goals or dreams or things that you got, you had set up for yourself, um, that you didn't get to finish because you got sidetracked by something that was unhealthy. Get back to that and get into finishing what you've started. Okay. Let me see if there's any other message coming up. Okay. So just so you know, I did tie all this in together, but I do want to give you a little bit of some separation here a little bit. For some of you, take it in separate, okay? For some of you, you do have a good supportive friend helping you out over this weekend, okay? Whether you're seeking, you, seeking them out or they're seeking you out. For others, you've got somebody else, and, and also you may have somebody else here who's just kind of in the energy that I was saying with a lot of insecurity, but not saying anything, but watching, but there may be a conversation, but it's delayed, um, where they're probably going to talk about themselves to do a one-up thing with you. And then you've got somebody else here, a third person who is showing up also, who, um, well, they've got their eyes on you, Virgo. <laughs> This is person, maybe they're already in your life, okay? Um, a conversation between the two of you, helping you to just release the past, but they also have um, an interest in you. Um, and it's because they have an interest in you that they want to see you be healthy and, and move forward in your life, whatever your struggles are in life, okay? This person comes in also very supportive, but I don't feel like there's deception in lies. I will say um, that this person, you know, at this point, juncture or when you talk to them over this weekend or if there's any kind of feelings or anything revealed I do feel like it's it's going to be more along the lines also like um if you ask them are they like are they this person's not committed to anybody that's what I'll say okay they don't they don't have a commitment to anyone any fourth messages here for Virgo over the weekend okay you've got the Hierophant all right let's see Oh, Hierophant and the Empress. Okay, let me see here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Virgo, this, this feels like your overall message for this weekend, and I'm not going to go into anything else after this because I feel like 
this overall message here for you is remember who the f you are virgo not in not and not in an egotistical way love yourself virgo okay love yourself you know when you stand by your stand your ground stand by your morals your convictions your beliefs okay that's what the hierophant is this is a card that talks about your commitments um your your standing by social justice the knowledge your education traditional values when you stand and stick to with your boundaries and the things you believe in and what's right for you okay maybe some things were instilled in you by a parent um like positive things some of you could be thinking about you know your mom or your dad um but also if even if you're a parent fatherhood motherhood um embrace your nurturing it's the nurturing side of you okay um you might be very artistic S focus on your art over this weekend if there's any art you can do um listen that's what makes you very attractive that's what draws love to you is your abundance and your look the the empress is the queen of queens the emperor is the king of kings okay the empress embodies all of the queens she's the she embodies all four temperaments right she's uh the queen of coins the queen of wands the queen of water and the queen of earth she are uh, uh, queen of um thomas said the queen of ice <laughs> the queen of swords she embodies all embody all the elements virgo your temperament embody all the temperaments which are all of the elements um if you know what the four temperaments are plus the fifth temperament the fifth element which is supine the other four um, temperaments which are related to the elements are the choleric the melancholic the sanguine and the phlegmatic uh, read up on it okay just because understand that your natal chart you aren't just a virgo you have other uh that's perfection the empress is perfection your perfection when you embody and understand all of the elements because they all work in tandem they all work together right if we only have earth and we have no air and we have no water and we have no fire then we're just a big solid ball of rock right we all we're all intermingled we're all mixed up of all the different elements you know being a virgo is is gives you the gift of insight being a virgo gives you the gift of truth okay but don't forget all the rest of the elements are not bad we have to embrace all of them when you that's wholeness that's perfection okay when you are able to embrace all of that all of those different elements look at this love look at this following your heart warmth gentility it's beautiful um you know especially if you're single and you're trying to figure out in your life you know um who you are i'm telling you who you are okay if you're in that position especially if you've come out of something that left you lost or not sure about who you are you are all four elements plus the fifth which is the supine okay and that's the the um, supine is the element uh, it's not really an element it's a position and it's a position of service um The Empress is harmony and being in balance, much like temperance. So if you're in a position here where you are trying to reorient yourself to yourself or to rediscover who you are, recreate your identity or get back to self, um, that's who you are, the Empress, okay? And I just feel like for some of you, and I will tell you, there is a love offer coming in over the weekend as well. Proposal, possibly marriage, a commitment, um, and if you're not seeing yourself this way, somebody is seeing you like this. Who's it coming from? It could be coming from this King of Wands. It could be coming from that King of Cups, male or female. Okay, let me, I'll just see if I can see. And it doesn't, for some of you, it could be commitment or marriage or proposal. For others, it could be um, just a romantic proposal offer or an invitation. It could be an invitation to go visit somebody's mother, invitation to go to some type of, um, 
like a, a, a some type of event in like an institution, maybe a hospital. Oh my God, we got so much marriage and love here. Um, a reunion, uh, an, an invitation to, yeah, meet somebody's family or go to a party or an event or a wedding, um, a community um, event over the weekend, family. Um, uh, there could be somebody asking you to come home as well okay could be your mom <laughs> or, or it's just um, a romantic offer from somebody could be coming from a Libra or a Taurus as well let me see here one more and then we're gonna finish oh we got the magician Wow okay this is magic maybe some of you are going to like a magic show or you're going to like a tarot or um, some kind of holistic event over the weekend there's definitely some type of communication happening here over the weekend. Uh, smooth talker. Somebody's a smooth talker, has the gift of gab. Okay. It's interesting. It doesn't feel negative to me because it's in the upright, obviously. This could have something to do with self-employment, connected to self-employment, or a work thing, or getting some skills. Okay. Okay, this is someone who's holding on to you. Uh, this is someone wow okay so this this person's a little possessive okay they're coming in like a little bit possessive maybe this is someone you knew before but there's definitely a love offer coming in over this weekend and this person is hoping that you will want to renew something this is not somebody new okay the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person's got a lot of stress and anxiety. Wow. Somebody's trying to impress you. That's what I feel like. Someone's trying to impress you over the weekend on the love front. They want to impress you. Maybe it's this person. Um, but it's like, it's just, it's just kind of like out of a little bit of jealousy. They want you to see them as being better than themselves. It's either this person or this person because you've got two showing up here okay so i'm just going to leave that reading here for this weekend yeah you guys i'm going to start a tarot course um it's going to be on my gumroad account i'm going to upload tarot videos and then make a subscription type of thing and then provide a link so you could get these cards um for those of you who um want to do tarot or who are new to it i don't Oh, okay here's the box it's called learning tarot cards um with keywords astrology zodiacs chakras meaning all of that um yeah so i'll be letting you know about that i'll be uploading that to my gumroad account with um, a subscription status that you can get each and i'm going to go through each and every tarot card i'm going to go over all of the elements um, I'm going to go over um, astrology, the different zodiacs. I probably won't go through the chakras all that much because I don't really feel they relate 100% to the tarot, but um, I will go over, I mean, I think there's, I don't... I don't feel like they directly relate. I feel like they indirectly relate, but that's not my specialty, so I probably won't go over any of that. But um, I'll give information and some lessons and teaching on spreads and and free ball spreads, <laughs> freestyle type spreads and things like that. All right, you guys? So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you all have an awesome, awesome weekend, and I will see you guys on Sunday, Monday. All right, take care. <laughs>